Ladies and gentlemen, good morning out there. Good morning to all you YouTube subscribers, to you Facebook followers, to you Instagram weirdos, and to all you prank callers out there. Keep them coming. Guys, it's March 7th out here, 2023, and it is a chilly 37 degrees out here, 7.45 a.m., and we're sitting in some traffic heading toward the Hutchinson River Parkway. Yes, guys, we're heading to a YouTube subscriber's house. From afar, from afar, we're heading to Rybrook, New York, the town of probably only about eight to 9,000 people in the county of Westchester, hugging the state of Connecticut. And man, you take 95 North all the way up, you're going. You're going to see past some nice views, some nice, some nice waterfalls up there. But right now we're heading to a YouTube subscriber's place. And yes, payment has already been accepted for the travel time. And we already confirmed with him 10 minutes ago. So we are on our way. And we never really go this far, but uh, we did go years ago. All the way up to Nyack, New York, to do a awesome steam boiler for a gentleman of mine. If you scroll down all the way to one of my first posts years ago, we did a monster ripout of a steam boiler that was loaded with asbestos that we got removed. But yeah, we went as far as Nyack, New York, and um, they pay. We're going. So. We're heading towards the Hutchinson River Parkway North. This gentleman's got several issues. His main issue is he's got a high water bill. He's seen the channel and he's seen that we use some cool tools and uh, he hasn't found somebody that can really help him. So I don't know, today we might rip out the infrared gun. Today we might whip out the stethoscope who knows what we're gonna find today but he's got a high water bill and he doesn't know what's going on there he's also got some other issues but we're here to help and uh, that's all we can do so guys I hope everybody had an awesome weekend out there I know you guys have been asking for content yes contents coming but you know life does get busy and uh, you know it's not for everybody out here you know doing the work recording the content editing the content it's a lot of work out here but you know what we're up for the task and you know can't shouldn't be a word in a man's uh dictionary that's what i always say so guys let's get to it right now we're passing orchard beach city island and we might even stop there on the way back for for a good lunch so let me uh, let me show you some of the views heading up to Rye Brook, New York, and uh, we're gonna see what this gentleman has uh, has for us this morning. Man, and I love this trade because you don't know what you're gonna run into. And guys, if you want to make some content out there, even if it's not the best content, people just enjoy your personality. They really do. They enjoy the personality because it's something that they don't have and it's something that they wish they had, but. You know, we do this so people could learn from each other. If you want to take a page out of my book and do it, so be it. So be it. You know, if I can do it, you can do it. And like I always say, practice makes perfect. And like always, let's do yours next, baby. All right, guys. And yes, we are on the Hutch I-95 North. We're getting off at New Haven right there. That's where we're passing right now. Just to give you a little history. I used to do this commute for about four years in my early days. Used to work out here, out in Pelham, uh, New Rochelle to be exact. Used to work at a nursing home for about four years over here as a plumber. This is when I was very young, very young. Learned a lot out here, but uh, they do things different out here in Westchester County. And um, you know, Codes and regulations aren't the same. I was contemplating getting my Westchester County license when I was younger, but 
I went a different route. You know, different counties have different jurisdictions, but uh, this is the same route that I did for four years going over that Whitestone Bridge, heading down I-95 North, getting off at this exit, to be exact, and heading towards New Rochelle. Guys, you, who's calling me now? Let's see what this is about. Three, four, seven. Hello, this is Mike. How can I help you? Hi, hi, Mike. It's Pablo. I see you Mexicano. Yes, Pablo. How are you? Good morning, sir. Good morning. I got this thing, so anytime you have a moment, I appreciate it. Okay, yes. good. Pablo, I am over here heading uh, in Westchester County over here. I should be back by lunchtime. Let me come, let me swing by for some lunch later and we talk, we discuss. I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Bye bye. Hey guys, if your phone's not ringing, you're doing something wrong. That's all I gotta say. Guys, be personable out here. Sell yourself, sell the company. This gentleman's got a Spanish restaurant over in the Queens area who's in need of some help. He's got some stainless steel appliances that just are in bad shape. And, uh, you know, he's got those DOH health inspectors on his you-know-what. And uh, when, they're on your, when they're on your ass, you know you gotta make shit right. So uh, he's got a, uh, a nice stainless steel, I think it's a 24 inch sink or a 30 inch with a shelf next to it that needs to get replaced. And um, you know, we're gonna tie that in indirectly and uh, get everything up to code for him. So guys, if your phone's not ringing, you're doing something wrong. So guys, we're gonna uh, show you some of the views and we're gonna head to Rye Brook, New York. Let's get to it, baby. All right, guys, sorry about that interruption, but another customer in need of our services. And man, he makes some good food over there. If you're a fan of tacos, go check out the uh, Mexicana Taquera over in Maspeth, the borough of Queens. Does make some good tacos over there. Guys, we are just passing New Rochelle. To give you a little history where I used to work for four years in a nursing home yeah I learned a lot there but uh, the work was stagnant it was more of a maintenance repair it wasn't really any um, you know new installs or any service like that you're just an in-house plumber there with a walkie-talkie and uh, you're on call but the pay was good the benefits were good vacation time was good but I'm gonna tell you this it wasn't good enough guys don't settle out here passing New Rochelle don't settle out here and strive for greatness I wouldn't work for anybody else ever again and mark my words you can take that to the bank guys right now we're heading towards the Mario M Cuomo bridge you know, that douchebag that was, uh, you know, sexually assaulting women over there, you know. Still named that bridge after him. Damn. <laughs> but we are heading that way. And uh, we're just going to enjoy the nice ride up. We got about a 35-minute ride up there. And uh, we just put new tires on the truck, so she's running well. We're due for an oil change. We're due for a service. Guys, this truck is a workhorse. It's a 2020 Ford Transit 250, the medium roof. And uh, she's a beautiful man. She's a beautiful truck. She rides smooth. She's strong. She's solid. But guys, invest in yourself. Invest in your company. Stay in the middle lane. <laughs> Be nice to her. Be nice to the truck. Because without her, you ain't working. If you're not working, you're not living. If you're not living, you ain't breathing. So, it snowed last night here in the New York area. Still a chilly 38 degrees out here. 
But guys, we're heading to Rye Brook. And we're going to get you some awesome content. And we're going to see why this gentleman's water bill is so high. So stay tuned. Sit back, relax. And learn something from this content, guys. Alright, let's get to it. Here we go. Yes, Rybrook is a beautiful neighborhood out here, guys. Beautiful neighborhood. A lot of picket fences, a lot of green grass. Acres, these houses are on acres. They're like plantations. Beautiful area, beautiful area. No street lights here at nighttime. Very desolate, quiet, clean. Probably got a lot of deer running around here. But what I noticed when I used to work out here years ago, the language, the lingo people talk is totally different coming from the city. They say, thanks very much. That's their, that's their saying here. Thanks very much. It's not thank you very much or it's thanks very much. I've noticed, but very nice area here. Very nice. It's nice to get away from the city, all the people honking their horns and people cursing and whatnot. It's nice out here, it's clean. That guy's doing a lot of work in his house there. Very nice. All right, guys, let's get to it. And let's go see what's leaking in this gentleman's house because we know something's leaking. I think he's on well water too. I don't know, we're gonna find out. It's gonna be one of the first questions I ask. All right, guys, let's get to it. Here we go. All right, guys, so we just pulled up, and uh, it's not looking good. I just called about two minutes ago to the homeowner, and no answer. I don't see a car in the driveway. I don't see a car in front of the house. We're going to try one more time, and time is of the essence out here, and we can't waste any. But, guys, you make sure you get paid for your travel. And I don't know if this is another scam or whatnot, but the guy seemed like a solid guy on the phone. We were chit-chatting for a while. He needed some, some sincere help. He paid the travel time, so the, uh, the only thing I'm worried about is the wear and tear on the tires, the new tires we just put on, but we did get paid for our travel time. And uh, we don't see any activity inside the house. Guys, we're going to give it one more call. We're going to give it one more call. Hello, Joe. Yes. Hey, this is Mike. Good morning. How you doing? I'm out front. Oh, Mike. Go in. Go in. The mail. Linda's there. So you just ring the bell. She's waiting for you. Oh, Linda. Okay, perfect. I'll... Oh, all right. And Mike, uh, Mike Brian told you everything in the house, right? <clears throat> Downstairs, bathroom, upstairs. And she'll show you everything that's going on. She'll show me? Okay, good. Are you away? Are, but, you, uh, are you at work? I'm in, I'm in the city. Okay. But, but I just want to let you know, I tried to change the flashometer in my, in my basement, bathroom, and then downstairs. And okay. I think she's running, so I don't know if I say something wrong or not, but you'll fix it. Okay. Yeah, that's probably the issue why you're getting a high water bill. Very, very high. Very high. So hopefully you'll, you'll I told my water company that you're coming looking into it. But uh, yeah, let's create it. It's been a little crazy. <laughs> okay, not a problem. And who is Linda? Just so I know for the record, um, my wife. Your wife. Okay, great. I'm gonna I'm gonna head there now. Very good. You got Bye. it. Bye bye. Okay, so we called the second time, and he's in the city. He's in Manhattan. He's working, obviously, and um, the wife is waiting for us. So let's go take a look. And uh, he already said he's got a flushometer. I can't see flushometers being in this in these houses, but we'll find out. Don't worry, we got flushometers in stock on the truck, and uh, we'll see what he's got. Here we go. All right. Guys, it is a lovely neighborhood out here. It really is. Beautiful neighborhood out here over in Rye. And uh, we are going to go. And guys, don't step on the grass, okay? Be professional. Go walk around. And walk where you're supposed to walk. Oh, it looks like they have some condensing boilers here i see some fresh air and exhaust let's go see what they got here here we go nice ring bell let's see what happens guys 
guys, don't be too forward. Don't come off too strong. Be kind with your words and be soft with your voice. Look people in the eye. Make a little joke, make a little humor. Linda, Linda, you need morning. Hi, good morning. How are you? you can park on the other side of the street because I don't want you to get a ticket. Okay, the other side, that side. Yeah. And face it that way? Perfect. Perfect. All right. All right. So, guys, there you go. Listen to what the customer has to say and abide by their wishes. So right here, we're parking right here. She's telling me that we're gonna get a ticket. So we are going to turn this camera around. Well, actually we're gonna turn the truck around, not the camera, because we don't want to get a ticket. And over here, they have different laws, different regulations. And we are, I don't want to say out of our element, but we don't know the rules and the regulations out here. So we're gonna turn the truck around because we don't want to get a ticket out here. And that would suck if we did. So I don't really feel like coming back to go to any courthouses out here. So let's turn the truck around and let's go take care of Linda. Here we go. Hey, how are you? Good, Linda, how are you? Good. I'm Mike. Hi, Mike. Nice to meet you. Lovely neighborhood out here. Oh, thank you. Love it out here. It's, uh, it's different than the city. Definitely. From where I'm from. Yes. You guys are originally from here? Well, no, we lived in the city on um, oh, okay. COVID, and then okay. we moved out. Okay, relocated. Yeah, we nice, relocated. nice. We have a six-year-old, so. Okay, very nice. We, we haven't decorated. It has made, you know, we haven't. It looks great, though. I like the grays. I like the blues. Oh, thank you. Thank I like you. it. Very thank nice. So, show me. I just spoke to um, just spoke to Joe. Okay. He said that you have an idea of what's going on. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, we've had drain flies for the past, I would say, like six months. Okay. Five, yeah, six months. Okay. Since the summer. Um, the exterminator twice over the summer when the exterminator would come for them, they said they were coming from outside, so they would like spray my window right. screens. Uh -huh. Right. Um, and that just didn't seem to do the trick. And okay. finally, they finally one guy said, "I can pour something down the drain." I said, "Oh, then the, the other guys didn't say that." Okay. And then he poured something down the drain. He goes, "If this doesn't work, we can come back one other time. Okay. And if that doesn't work, then you need to have a plumber come." I'm like, okay. Right. So they came twice, and okay. still happened. Where are they coming from? Mainly in my bathroom. Bathroom, shower? Sink. Sink. Does it get much Sink used? Sink and it... shower. Well, I see them in the shower, but flying around. So I don't know if they're coming from the sink. I see them also in our bathtub. Like mm -hmm. dead ones in our bathtub. Really interesting. Okay, okay. Is that the bathroom on the second floor? Uh huh. Is there an attic space up there? No. Okay, show me. How do you get train flights? Well, I'm thinking maybe from an open vent line or something, maybe a cracked waistline. Um, that's why I asked if there was an attic space upstairs. Okay. Um, There's no attics in this community. Okay. Okay. Um, I killed that, like, I probably killed like six a day. Really? Okay. Let's have yeah. a look. I like the grays. I like the blues here. Mm -hmm. Very nice. So this is my sink, okay. and I'm always seeing them here. Uh -huh. Let's see if there's any in the bathtub okay. right now, but. Um, this bathroom gets used daily, I'm guessing. This, this is the master. Dirty in here, gross. Yeah, my son uses this. Uh -huh. um, I don't think that's a bug, but, okay. no, but we are happy now. Okay. Um, was this place recently renovated or no. came like this? We moved in here a year and a half ago um, and it was already renovated. Okay. Did the inspector, when you get an inspection, did they put anything in their report? No. Nothing? Nothing no. out of the ordinary? No, there was nothing. Are you able to get in touch with the previous homeowner? Yeah. Are you able to? Yeah. Did they have the same issue? Just curious, out of curiosity, did they have the same issue before they oh, sold it know. to you? I can ask her. Yeah, just, you know, I'm just trying to rule out every option yeah. here, you know, just trying, because um, nothing really was done. You know, like, I tried, like, even, like, putting, like, tape over this to uh -huh. see, but, like, the drain doesn't, like, fully, like, Stop. shut. Okay. I was trying to see if I can find anything for you. I don't smell any um, smell? sewage or anything, any, you know, funny. suspect of any, any broken pipe or anything. Okay. Um, I'm gonna look under each sink here and let's just see. 
Oh, I can clean out that. No, that's okay. Just here to look. Just here to look. Just here to look. This bathroom gets used daily, correct? Yes. Shower too. So it's interesting. Now, I always say, like, my husband doesn't have, like, the best eyesight. Like, he doesn't wear his glasses. Okay. I find them, like, I find, I hate bugs. So, like, I, okay. like, Hold find the them mm -hmm. all the time. Right. He's like, I was away for a week with my son in Florida, and he's like, I didn't see any. Okay. Like, that's because you're, like, blind as a bat. Okay. <laughs> but also that I was thinking, well, maybe it's because my sink wasn't being used. It's possible. When these traps... Don't get used when these fixtures don't get used. The traps run dry, and right. we, so like we prime them. It's possible. And then all of a sudden, I started to see them again. Like I saw one in, in his sink yesterday. Um, really. And nobody's leaving. Nobody's leaving any food around here, right? No. Okay. They're like uh, fruit flies, correct? Little gnats. They're little black gnats. Little black gnats. And okay. they're always like on the ceiling and like. I walk around with my fly swatter. Okay, what's uh, what's in here? Is this the toilet? A toilet? Yeah. Door closet? Let's see. I'm sorry, I have one for you. That's okay. I want to see maybe if this toilet is loose or anything. Let's have a look. No, she's solid. She hasn't seen any? I mean, she's got, I feel like she's never really been wet. Okay. We're trying to, usually when somebody's got a complaint, we try to duplicate the issue. You know? We try to see if uh, we can find the origin of where they're coming from. Under the sink, make sure there's nothing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like you know, you go to the doctor, you don't feel well, but then when you get there, you feel better. Okay. I kill these little black bats all the time. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm just doing that. I basically like I see them around mine. I feel like. Mm -hmm. And then, do the shower get used? Daily? All the time. Okay. Daily. Yeah. Okay. I haven't seen one yet. I don't smell any, I don't suspect any sewage or any broken pipe. I thought pipe. maybe a broken pipe, that's what I was thinking. That's what someone that's what, had said to me. That's yeah, right. that would be my first guess, or an open vent line, but there's no attic space above here, right? Nope. Where's your air handler? Where's my what? Air handler? You have central AC here, right? Yeah. Where's your air handler? I guess everything's downstairs in the basement. Okay. Okay, I see the condenser outside. Okay. So I thought maybe the air hand, I thought maybe you had attic space here. Okay. No. Everything is downstairs. Okay. You, okay. Are you saying to me that there's nothing that can be done about these things? Um, if I can't see where they're coming from, um, I don't see them. When do they come? When do they, when do you see them? When All day. Do you don't see them now, huh? No. You don't see them. But I feel like they're coming from there. It's possible. It's, it's, I mean, all these unit, all these fixtures do have traps here and they're all installed correctly. You know, that trap, every fixture has a trap. That water seal keeps, yeah. you know, keeps the vermin out and everything. You know, tries to keep it out. Here, there's like some, there's one that's behind here. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's some like black, Okay. I see some specks. Yeah, I do see some. Let's see what they're doing here. Okay, what about the one? What about yeah, that? Yeah, I see them. Okay. I see them. Mm hmm Yep, yeah, there's a ton of them here. Yeah. I'm sure. Okay, yeah. I'm not calling you crazy. I believe you. Trust me. I believe you. I believe you. I really do. I believe you. Right. You don't know where they're coming from. I mean, they could be coming from the drain mm -hmm. and from my drain. I mean, I don't use my husband's drain. Mm -hmm. not... Oh, there's one. There's oh, one. Mm -hmm. Nope, there's one flying around. See him? Oh, Lost him. Where'd he go? The shafts. Yeah, that's where, he, that's where he was. He was around the towel. I mean,
Where'd he go? He left. He left. Called drain blood? What's that? No, no that's, that's just dirt. That's dirt? Okay. 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 Maybe from this register here? Very odd. So since day one, huh? Not since day one, since the summer. Since the summer. So a year after we moved here. The summer. I didn't see them last, I didn't see them the summer before. Oh, there is some um, right there. Definitely some dead ones. Definitely some dead ones. There's one. There's another one. Poor little guys. They're trying to find a home. <laughs> I know. I'm literally like, I am forever killing them. All dead. I don't want to say that they're coming from this toilet. Let's see. Has this toilet ever been repaired or anything? Uh, no. No? There is a, there is a ton on this floor. Uh, mm-hmm. Let me see what's going on here. Funny, I never really look. I never see them. Really? Yeah, there's a ton in this corner, and I don't want to say that it's coming from this seal on this toilet. This is older. Right. This is older. And you just see them in the other one that was newly uh -huh. renovated. Like, I don't know, is that one? Or is that just dirt? No, that could be one. Yeah, that could be one. What about here? That black dot. I don't think that's one. I mean, like, this is never used. My son never uses it. Never uses it? Yeah. Okay. This is where we see a lot of the uh, cockroaches. Cockroaches. Well, the, you know, the silver. So silver fish. fish. I don't consider those cockroaches compared to right. New York City cockroaches. Right, yeah. Those are... I don't see them in here. You don't see them in here. And I'm in here every night to brush his teeth. Right. But they usually are in... They're in my bathroom. In that newly renovated bathroom. Mm hmm and you wouldn't know how long that, that one was renovated for? I, I mean, mean, you bought it like that, right? In the past, like, six years. And how long have you lived in here? Only a year and a half. Yeah. And what's right below here, Linda? Kitchen? Kitchen? Right below here? Um, family room and kitchen, yeah. And you find them in the kitchen also? Mm. It's an open concept, so it's hard to tell. But I've seen like a few, but not many. A lot of the times I'll be like laying in bed at night and I will be reading my book and they like the light. So I'm constantly. You'll see them in here. They'll like be on my book. Hmm. You know, there's evidence of them being around there. Yeah. Behind there, right? We saw a couple of them over there. I'm curious to know what the previous owner has to say. She's not getting back to it, but... Because if this was renovated and something was done behind the walls... Where she wouldn't a... admit to that, though. Like. Of course she won't. That's right. She yeah, won't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Anything. Yeah. I wouldn't. I wouldn't, because then she'd be lying. You know what's interesting? Tell that me. That there are sometimes I hear, like, a dripping in this wall. 
Good. So any information you have, tell me. Oh. Any information you have. Can I tell me something? Well, you hear dripping. I hear like a drip. Not now, though. Not now, though. Of course not now. But I do hear a drip, 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 drip. You just never know. You just... It could be something as small as a piece of pipe that's brand new off of a truck that has a hairline crack in it and that's uh escape but what would be in this wall like i feel like that's well, where not, it's coming from like that well there's all the vent dripping. lines running behind these walls every fixture has a vent line that terminates through the roof oh. um you know i have instances where i bought and where i bought brand new pipe and hairline cracks in them but i'm not here trying to scare you but right. <laughs> we can't see through walls and um Frustrating. You're here a year and a half, you said. Uh huh. Started since day one. Started since day one? No, the drainage one only started last summer. After living here for about a year. Interesting. Interesting. So there's nothing that can be done, you mean? Nothing that poured down the drain, even? Like more than the, the exterminator? Well, we don't know where they're coming from. If they're coming from a drain, I don't know. Did they. I would have. Did they put a trap here? Did they trap every fixture here? Did they. I mean, I'm sure the contractor, whoever, no, the contractor. You know? I've been to houses where. Hold on a second. I've been to houses where, you know, Home Depot comes in or a contractor comes in and puts a new shower in and doesn't put a trap. And, um, you know, you're getting immense sewer gases coming from the fixture because there's no trap. But I can't really, can't really tell. Weird, odd. Hey, really? It's been running forever? Yeah. How long since you got here? Uh, I don't know. And it does that? Yep. Is that bad? She's a leaker. She's a leaker. She's a leaker. I mean, your water bill is going to be extremely high. Oh, for real? For real. <laughs> <laughs> for real, yeah. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah. Oh, boy. I'll show you. Where is your water main? Do you know where your water main is? Show me where your water main is. I'm going to show you a little trick, okay? A little trick, you My know. My water main? I mean, you're cooking it over these things. I have no hmm. idea. Did Where is you? anything I in here? I know things are in here. Where's your electrical panel? Where's your... Where's your sewer? Where's the stink bug? stink bug? One of those little guys there? Yeah. Okay, here's your air handle yeah. and everything. Okay. It's okay. Okay. Is this what you needed? We're getting close. We're getting close. We're getting close. We're getting close. My electrical outlet is in the gym. Okay. You wouldn't happen to know. Let me see. You guys are on, on um, I wonder what they have. You guys are on well water or? No. Let's see. All right, this goes up. Okay. Any other room that you can show me that's yeah. like a mechanical room or something? Let me no shut this sprinkler? light off. Sprinkler? Um, maybe. Mm -hmm. Might be in there. Want me to just shoot over there? You know what, let me just shut this toilet off while you move that stuff. But yes, that is a cause of a high water bill. Okay. We're gonna shut this off. Well, you know what, no. I'm gonna leave this on, because I wanna show her her meter that's spinning, let's see. All right, did we get in that room? Yeah. Okay, let's see, perfect. Oh, we're getting close, I see your sewer. Oh, okay. I see your sewer here. Okay, and I see your water main. Perfect. Are you still going to show me something? I was going to, but no, I can't. There you go. I was going to, but I can't on this. Any bugs on here? Okay, I was going to, but I can't on this newer style meter. Okay, no problem. Yeah? 
Nicely done, though. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Nicely done. But that toilet, it's yeah. got to get fixed. Yeah. Where's that light, Linda? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, that toilet's got to get Got to get, got to get repaired. That flacker okay. in there, yeah. That'll cause a high water bill. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. Anything else that you know that's running? <laughs> yeah. You learn something new every day, you know. You learn something new every day. Um. No, I think that's it. So let's see. Fix that today. Yeah, we're gonna fix okay. that now. Oh yeah. I'm gonna show you. Yeah. We're gonna rebuild this whole thing. Yeah. You see all that crud in there? Yeah. See all that? I mean, this is never up. used. Yeah. Like, never. Uh-huh. But I yeah. used it yesterday when I, went to, when I worked at that. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. And I was kind of like, oh, he's coming to our apartment. Yeah. Put that on the lift. Perfect, yeah. Yeah, that'll cause a high water bill. Oh, Absolutely. Does shower ever get used? Never. Never. Never since we've lived here. Let's see if there's water in this trap. Since you lived here a year and a half ago? Yep. Yeah, it's pretty, yeah, the, the water will dry out in that trap if it doesn't get used. So we should turn this on every once in a while? Yeah, you dump a, dump a bucket down there every month, you know? Absolutely. Oh, really? All right, ladies and gentlemen, so there you have it. Um, we found the culprit to our high water bill. Um, we're going to do a quick walkthrough of the house to every bathroom to make sure nothing else is leaking. But that main toilet in that basement area has been leaking since day one. Guys, if you see something out of the ordinary, if you sense something that's not normal, a toilet that is constantly running and constantly filling up every 10 minutes is not normal. And owning a home, for some people, is different. It's different. It's, it's I don't wanna say uncomfortable, but there's a lot of things in owning a home. And if you sense something not right, call a professional. And, you know, the first instinct was the high water bill. I mean, the running toilet can cause a high water bill. And we're going to fix that for them right now. As far as the gnats go, the fruit flies, the sewer gnats, that's another issue in itself. Um... When I went into that bathroom, I didn't smell any raw sewage. I don't suspect a vent line is is broken, but I can't see behind walls. Um, so we are going to tape off every drain in that bathroom, in that master bathroom, and let it, let it stay there for 48 hours and see if there's any accumulation of any gnats there. But um, if that toilet bowl, I don't know, could it be coming from the bowl? I'm not sure. We found a lot of them around that tub behind there, but we are gonna tape off every drain and uh, we're gonna see in the next 48 hours what, what comes of it. So let's do that and uh, let's, uh, let's see what else we find. But right now we are gonna change this flapper. All right, you guys, as you can see, this flapper is just seeing better days. And uh, we're gonna throw this aside. We got all of our flappers right here. We want to make sure that they are the right size. We got Toto flappers. We got Corky Universal flappers. What else we got here? Yeah, we got a ton of flappers. So we're going to use a Corky Universal. And uh, we're going to hook her up with one of those. So there it is right there. We're going to use that. And the replacing of the old one. I'm gonna throw that in a bucket and throw this in a garbage. And uh, let's change that flap for her. Here we go. Only the last one. From the from the plumber. Yeah. yeah, we can do that. We'll write you up a detailed yeah. invoice. Absolutely. And they'll reimburse you, maybe. Um, Interesting, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So then whenever you know it, it was only for, for one month. Right, right, right. That's okay. Good. Phew! All right, that's good then. Yeah. Oh my God, I feel like a moron. Okay. Wait, but it, you said it's been running since day one. No, I said. I only, or you thought it was. I don't know how long it's been. Okay, running. okay. We never that's besides the point. We never used Let's get reimbursed from the water company. We What's the, Who's the water company up here? I don't know. Oh, I don't okay. think 
Okay. I don't know. I don't know who's out here. This all the way. This is a far from me. I mean, this is like not my territory. I'm a Long Island girl. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Long Island. Which part? Uh, Lawrence. Lawrence. Okay. Okay. From Lawrence. Yeah. Right by JFK. Airport. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. Are you from there? Uh, I'm right from there? Queens. I'm from okay, Queens. So not, yeah. not too far. Not too far. I fly out of JFK a lot. Okay. But yeah. Well, now we have Westchester Airport right here. Oh, you it's do. A fortune. And where is um? Wait, is that Warwick? No, it's HPN. HPN. White Plains. Oh. White Plains. White Plains. Oh, okay, cool. That's cool. It's, it's like a That's convenient. Dollars to fly out That's convenient, though. Only convenient if you got the bucks to pay it. I, yeah, all right, I guess. <laughs> Linda, let me change this flapper. Okay. Let me change this flapper. Thank you. Yeah, sure. Absolutely. All right. Guys, we're using Fluid Masters. Long-lasting, chlorine-resistant flapper. That's going to go... Right onto this Douglas valve. This Douglas valve is what we call the with the fill tube on it. Nice little flapper here. Beautiful. Nice little flapper. Quick closing. Very nice. All right. Now that was the easy part. Now adjusting the chain on the flapper to make sure that you get the proper flush and the right flush. Really enjoy what I do out here. You never know who you're gonna run into. You never know who you're gonna meet. The world is such a beautiful place out here. And we really enjoy helping people. We really do. Guys, the new flapper is in. Beautiful. And we're gonna clean off all of this calcium and iron buildup. We're just gonna stir it up just like that. And we're gonna get a nice flush. Time. We're gonna prime this trap because it needs to be primed. And by turning this shower on, we're gonna prime that trap. Beautiful. Beautiful. Nice little Kohler single handle. All right. I want that tank to fill up. And we want this water to stop. Guys, every toilet bowl has these orifices up here. Has all these orifices up here. And if you were to get in there with a wire brush, you see that? You get in there and you clean those. You clean those. Not many people do, but you see? Do you see what the quality of water can do. It can stain your toilet and whatnot. But that's what we want. We want a nice flapper. And we also want a nice flush. Beautiful. Beautiful. Fast closing. Fluid master makes the best stuff. All right guys, let's put the tank cover back. Instead of fill up one more time. Guys, be courteous to people. Be nice to your customers. Be nice to your clientele. It doesn't take much out here. Come in with a smile. Sometimes I smile so much my freaking face hurts. <laughs> but guys, they want to see a bright smile. They want to see good energy. And if somebody is having a bad day and you come in with great energy, you can liven up their day and put a smile on their face. Guys, we're out here providing a service at a efficient level and at a timely manner people don't want us here all day they have things to do there's only 24 hours in a day give them good service get to the point but spend time with them if you don't know what i'm talking about feel free to ask me but do what i do out here you will be successful trust me all right Guys, toilet's not running. 
they're not going to have a high water bill. We're going to leave them a detailed invoice that they could submit to their water company. I don't know who is out here. I, I don't know. Um, but we will put their mind at ease so these people can sleep good at night. All right. Let's go see what we're gonna do with these drain flies. Here we go. Man, this is, this is wet. What does that mean? This is wet. I this was my first suspect here. Yeah. That the wax seal that holds this toilet down is yeah. big. And it's possible that they're coming through here. So this toilet has an integrated trap, right? The trap here is on the side of the toilet, right? That's okay. why this water is always in this toilet, right? Okay. Because the trap seal is holding the water in it. But below the trap, there is no seal. It's just open pipe. Uh -huh. So I've seen where, I've seen where the wax seal gets so deteriorated that, well, obviously we know that something's Something's going on here because it's wet. It's all stained, right? Yeah. I would expect that it's coming from here. So what do we do about that? I would have to reset this toilet, which I think I'm going to because it is wet. Oh, where is it wet? All around the base. Oh, really? Yeah. I've never noticed that before. All around the base. Yeah, this is all this is all wet. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's okay. Yeah, it's, gross, but like, that's yeah. all right. It's all yeah. It's all wet though. It's all wet. So I'm gonna reset this toilet. Okay. And it's possible they're coming from there. Go for it. But that's what I would do. So we taped off all those drains. Well, we taped off some of them in uh -huh. there, right? Uh -huh. And now we're gonna reset this toilet. Right. And like, if, if, if it's like, you know, if I want to wait, I mean, I don't mind waiting, like a week, if mm -hmm. I'm using that. Right. No, but um, I, I can use his, and then if I find them not coming from there, mm -hmm. and I'm still seeing them after you reseal this, mm -hmm. I'll do his sink, and we'll just use my sink. Yeah, know? there's quite, a, like I noticed before, there's quite a few dead ones here. Okay. Yeah. And I'm going to reset this toilet. You know, yeah, I've never looked for them in here, actually. So. Yeah, this is all wet. This whole this whole base that around this toilet weird. is wet. Yeah, yeah, sure. Where is it? You oh. see this? Oh, yeah. It's all wet. Oh, yeah. That's all wet. And all these gnats are right there in that corner. Mm -hmm. All right. Where I'm going to reseal this toilet. We hope so. Hope we're, so. we're trying. We're eliminating everything. All right. Let me grab some tools. Let me get a new wax seal. And let's reset this toilet. All right, guys, let me know what you would do. But I'm going to reset that toilet because I don't like it. It's all wet. And the whole base around that bowl, when I showed up this morning, was wet. So we're going to reset that toilet. And I'm going to show you how to reset a 12-inch rough, one-piece tank and bowl. Here we go. Guys, we got the water supply off here. We're using our hand suction pump here to get everything out of the bowl and everything out of the tank. So we are going to take these caps off. And we're gonna reset this toilet. I'm gonna take this one. Oh, there's another mat. Yep, I just saw another one. Yeah, they're coming from here. They're coming from the toilet. Oh yeah. Yeah, guys, they're coming from here, definitely. This whole base is wet. This bolt is loose, absolutely. All right, put this aside. Put this aside. <clears throat> Let's get the Olympics. Put this down. Last up. Let's get our little nitpicks here. Let's disconnect this toilet. Come on, baby. A little nitpicks. See what you see what you can do for me here. Yeah, they're coming from this toilet, that's for sure. There's a ton of them dead ones right there. This 
whole Johnny Bolt is spinning on me. Yeah, look at that. Put this aside. Disconnect the speedy toilet supply. <clears throat> yeah, they're coming from here. Definitely. Okay. Okay. You guys don't lose the washer in there, okay? Let's lift this bowl up. Here we go. Okay. We got the toilet lifted. We got a nice PVC flange there. I'm just trying to see if we could see any of the nets come out of here. So I'm pretty sure they're coming out from here. Flange is a little low. Definitely is a little low. Definitely is a little low. Flange is low. Throw this out. Okay, so we're going to use this in this instance. Fluid mask that makes it. It's better than wax. It is a rubber seal. Fits any drain, any toilet. I'm just trying to see. If I see anything coming out of here. But most likely they are. You can see all the water around here. The seal is gone. Everything. We're going to clear up all the silicone here. I'm gonna clean all this wax up. And we're gonna put this better than wax toilet seal. <clears throat> okay? It is. It's stackable, wax free. No rust, brass bolts, and hardware. No wax, no mess. Let's see what's coming out of here. Alright. Let's clean all this up and uh, let's put the bowl back. Here we go. Boom. And there's your culprit. There's the culprit right there. There they are. It's like a graveyard of gnats. It's a graveyard of gnats. We found it. There it is. Right there. I was suspecting this toilet from the beginning, but there it is. Hey, Linda, you want to come in here? I found your problem. For real? For Rizio. You want to see a graveyard of gnats? They're right oh, under your really? toilet bowl, yeah. No. You can come over and just lean over and look. <gasps> That's them, huh? Holy shit. Yeah. I want to take a picture. Go ahead. Take a picture. <clears throat> <laughs> Absolutely. Ain't that cool? Oh my gosh. Maybe I have to sell the tapes. I don't think so. I mean, we can, but I would... I, I yeah, think I think most... Yeah. Jersey. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he wants that. Look at that. There's a graveyard of gnats right there. So the seal was bad on the toilet. So they're coming up from in between the seal here. That's a seal, yeah. Yeah, that's a wax seal. This is just uh -huh. wax. And the flange is pretty low. It's under the floor. It should be over the floor. So I have to build it up. Oh, whatever you gotta do. Yeah, but there's your culprit. Oh my god. I kinda, Ew. I kinda figured that should when I- Should we get a paper towels? To yeah, I'm gonna clean it all up. I got, I got a sponge here. Stuff? Yeah, yeah, okay. we're gonna clean it all up. Okay. But that's what it is. Okay. You know, they wanted to stay here, but you know, they, they can't, you know, they, they, they gotta go. They gotta go. <sighs> they were trying to find a home here. Gross. You know? I'm so excited. Absolutely. Yay! Absolutely, oh, good find. the highlight of my freaking hair. <laughs> good find, there you go. Yeah. All righty. Alright, there it is. The graveyard of gnats. Yep. They love the water. <clears throat> and those are sewer gnats right there. I'm gonna clean all this up. We are going to raise this flange. We're gonna use Odie's extension kit here. We're gonna clean up all the silicone and get it out of here. This side, get a nice chisel.
All right, guys, so we're using Odie's extension flange kit here to raise this flange up a quarter of an inch because it's below the floor right now. But you can see how this flange is not sitting on the existing flange because of this tile being in the way. Guys, right now we're gonna make a nice notch in this tile right along, nice and easy and small hits of the chisel just to nick the tile so you can break small pieces off just like this. <clears throat> you want this extension flange kit to sit directly on the PVC flange. So let's make it nice notch all the way around and uh, let's get to it. Here we go. All right, guys, make sure you put a little bit of silicone around the two extension flanges that we're using here. I'm gonna put one like this. And that one is just gonna give it a nice airtight seal. Guys, you want this flange to come up a quarter of an inch above the finished floor. Right now, we're gonna put our washers. We're gonna put our nuts and we're gonna tighten this guy down. Here we go. All right, guys, a lot of you <clears throat> are going to give me some flack on this, but I've used it before, and I love it. Never had problems with it. It's better than wax. It's rubber. Guys, you're going to put the extension kit on with the foam seal. Then you're going to put the... This is what's acting as a wax. The, the trapway of this toilet is going right into here. You're going to want to make sure that's down and in there. And there's your wax seal right there. There's your seal. I'm gonna come up a quarter inch above the floor. And there it is. We got our new Johnny bolts on here. We got our new nuts, new washers here. And there, right now, we're gonna set this toilet. First, I'm gonna mix a little bit of plaster right around the flange here. I don't go all the way on the outside. I just go right on the flange, right around here. We're gonna start mixing, here we go. All right, so guys, that's how I like to mix my plaster. Just put it around the flange, a little bit around the flange. You don't have to go all the way to the base. Just want to make sure that the flange where the toilet sits on is nice and solid. All right, guys, let's put this toilet on and uh, let's test it. Here we go. All right, guys, and that is how I set a 12-inch rough, one-piece toilet. Beautiful. We're filling it up now. Just checking the integrity of it, nice and strong, nice and solid, beautiful. Don't forget to put your decorative caps on. <clears throat> beautiful. Let's fill this baby up, she should stop right now. Beautiful, beautiful thing. Let's let that sit for a few minutes. Wipe this down, clean up and we'll test. All right guys, and there you have it. I have my decorative caps on. We're gonna flush and test. Here we go. <clears throat> Beautiful. Beautiful thing. Guys, if I don't teach you nothing in this video, let me teach you this. It doesn't always have to be wax, guys. Every application calls for different, different material. Different. This is what I love about the trade, guys, because you're always going to run into something new out there. And you never, not one thing is ever going to be the same. So, I've used it before. I like it. It lasts. It's guaranteed. And, um, Fluid Master, big thumbs up to them. Alright, guys, we are done here. And, uh, this customer can rest well with not any more gnats flying around their freaking house or whatnot, but... Another happy customer, another relationship built, and what more can you ask for? Guys, on that note, stay blessed, stay safe, and let's do yours next, baby. Hey, Linda, yes, all done. So you clearly saw it, right? Yes, yeah, so, you, so you, you clearly think, saw it. Do you think we should still cover up the drains? Let's leave them covered. Leave yeah. them covered for now. Yeah, leave them covered, just for, yeah, leave them covered for a peace of mind. <laughs> but that was the main culprit. I don't know who did the bathroom. Was it a contractor or was it a plumber? He said that it was. She, she did write back to me. I said, "How long ago was the bathroom redone?" She says about ten years ago. Ten years. Oh, it looks like it's in good shape. 
But who knows if a contractor did it or if a plumber did it. The toilet flange, I first suspected that toilet was the culprit. Because when I first came, but I wanted to rule out everything else before I attacked gross. that. That was gross. So the base was all wet. When I took the toilet off, the flange where the toilet sits on was like a half inch below the floor. It's supposed to be a half That's inch a above the floor. What is a flange? Toilet flange is a flange that bolts to the toilet. So when you go sit on a toilet, it doesn't rock. Oh. You know what I mean? Oh. The toilet flange was like a half inch below the floor. It should have been a half inch above the floor. Oh. So the integrity of the flange was not in conjunction with the wax seal. So it wasn't really the best setup. It wasn't really done right. Um, but that was the main culprit. Okay. That's where those gnats were coming from. Absolutely. They'll get through any crack. And they got, they got through before the trap. Every appliance or plumbing fixture has a trap. Even a toilet has a trap. That's why the water sits in that bowl. Okay. But the gnats were coming in before the trap. You know what I mean? They were coming in from those cracks on Correct, the sides. correct, correct. So that was the culprit. That was okay. the culprit. And I think you could rush the shore. Right. Um, give the toilet maybe 20 minutes before you sit on it or dance okay. on it or anything. Okay. But yeah, I put some plaster on it to make it nice and strong. Okay. But um, yeah, it went well. Like it went well. Yeah. All right. I'm happy uh, you came out. Absolutely. We fixed the toilet downstairs. Um, and uh, right. I think you're in good shape. Good. Call us. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. For so that. you think how long do I need to keep the, the tape on? For? Keep it on for 24 hours. Yeah. Keep it on for 24 hours. Why not? Maybe I'll keep it on for a few days. Keep it on for a few days. I'm going to keep it on for a few keep days. Keep it on. You know how to put the pop-up thing back, right? Yeah, I, I think I can figure you it out. You can't mess it up. I think I can figure it out. You can't mess it up. Okay. Call yeah. us if anything, okay? Thank um, you very much. No, anytime. And I'll put everything in the report. And okay. um, I'll oh, send them. Put in the report for the trailer. Down Absolutely. So can... Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. All right. Okay. Thank Tell you Joe so I said hi. Thank Take you. care, Linda. Thanks. All righty. <clears throat> All right, ladies and gentlemen. And there you have it. If I don't teach you nothing today... Let me teach you this. Guys, if you got gnats, sewer gnats, whatever you want to call it, fruit flies flying around in your bathroom, you suspect and you can most likely suspect that they're coming from your plumbing sewer system. You know, we took our time on this one. We didn't jump to any conclusions, even though I had, I had a clear indication when I first got there where they were coming from when I first saw that toilet bowl. But guys, you want to rule out everything before you start before you start putting your hands or putting tools on anything and start start guessing. You want to rule out everything. My first instance was how often does these bathrooms get used? It's a big house. It is a huge house for just 3 people. How often does the bathroom get used? Are those traps primed? Vermin and insects will come through any plumbing system or any plumbing trap that isn't primed with water we ruled out the obvious i don't know if you heard me but i first asked her if there was any food left behind she's got a young kid a six-year-old kid was there any food left behind in the bathroom fruit flies gnats they like food they fly around food i didn't smell any sewer in that bathroom or any part of that house so I ruled out it coming from a broken line or any part of a vent that wasn't connected or that was just left open, terminated to the atmosphere in the house. When I first came to that toilet, that base was wet, that base was stained, and there was a ton of gnats in that corner. But we moved on. We moved on to the shower pan after that. We moved on to the bathtub after that. We moved on to the sinks after that. Guys, Rule out everything. Be sharp with your mind. Put your mind to the test. Common sense is not that common out here. And mind you, plumbing, you have to have a little common sense. You got to have some skill too. The skill, the knowledge, you got to have it. But the common sense, you got to have. And you got to be sharp out here. And you got to rule out everything. And you heard me say to the customer, I need the whole story. She said she, she heard a drip in the wall, which I don't believe, but we listened to her and we tried to gain and gather every piece of information that we could. But you clearly saw the culprit and those gnats. There was a graveyard of gnats underneath that toilet bowl and she was ecstatic after we showed her because there were several people there, other plumbers, exterminators that were just tooting her horn 
and giving her a song and a dance and leaving her getting paid. They got paid and her problem was not solved. But I can rest assured, I'm just looking around here, I got some awesome views, but the American flag, I really enjoy the American flag these days. It's really a staple of this country. But guys, you can rest assured that we provided an honest service today. We ruled out and we troubleshot the way a plumber should and the way you guys should. Don't jump to conclusions, rule out the obvious, do things in stages, guys, and be sharp. If you're not sharp up here, write things down. It's okay to write things down. It's okay. But you can rest assured that this customer paid for a service that we provided, and she's extremely happy because we found the issue. Guys, on that note, if there's anything I could have done differently, please let me know. Leave a comment down below. I know you guys have been missing some content. We worked all weekend, but we didn't get any content of it for other reasons. But, oh, and there's that airport. There's that landing strip. Planes are flying that she mentioned. They op opened up an airport out here in Westchester County. But guys, leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys think of this content, of this video. So if you got fruit flies or sewer gnats in your bathroom and you don't know where they're coming from, suspect the master bathroom toilet guys on that note stay blessed stay safe and let's do yours next baby